Sounds pretty nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's start the actual show for the week. Ooh. Let's talk about a strange occurrence that happened early in the week. Sacred Singles. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Sacred Symbols, the largest PlayStation podcast and one of the largest gaming Patreons ever, aired a segment on their show that revealed that the host of the show, Colin Moriarty, had received a casting script on the still in development Tomb Raider game that was revealed earlier in the year. They then read off the script, acted out by the other co hosts, Chris Raygun and Dustin Furman. Uh, si sidebar, I had Dustin on uh, uh, last week in an cool. interview show, if you want to go check that out. All that is newsworthy enough, but it doesn't stop there. Square Enix actually filed a DMCA claim over that video on Patreon, prompting Patreon to contact Colin to remove the video. To make this even stranger, no other platform has seen a DMCA claim. The video segment has since been removed, but is still available on other versions of the videos. Oof. Now, let's, do, do you want to touch on this? You want to go through the whole thing? Uh... I think that's I think that's awesome that they were able to get a hold of that and share it. But that, so apparently, apparently he went into it. Someone just gave it to him, as, as far as I understand. Someone just dropped it, and I I want to say he trusted the source or something. But it was pretty detailed. Apparently, wow. Like it was. It had. A, we'll go into it, but there are whole parts of like the uh scenes that he got to read and things. Very interesting. Let's get into this. Um, before we do that, the uh, vamp for me. Let me see what my dog is freaking out about. Okay, no problem. Oh man, I can't wait to see what the script is about. I like, I love the Tomb Raider games like so much. So I'm excited to see what they read. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that. I just realized what it is. My wife's home, and that's she wanted oh. to go see my wife. Oh. All right. <laughs> now let's get to the let's get into the meat of the Tomb Raider news. It's called Project Jawbreaker, and it's described as a quote action adventure game set in a modern day world rocked by a mysterious cataclysm end quote Ooh. now here's a passage of the game that um they read on the show laura croft is now at the top of her game gone are the days of the young inexperienced woman dealing with matters of legacy and familial reckoning laura has let go of her childhood and fully embraced a life of adventure and purpose her legendary career has been laded in print and tabloids, tall tales of adventure that have inspired a new generation of Tomb Raiders to seek their fortunes in the world. And with this new phase of her life, Laura fully accepted her place among the ruins. For many years, Laura plum uh, plumbed the depths of forgotten places, played cat and mouse with many nefarious opponents, and worked to uncover, preserve, and protect the lost secrets of the world lest they fall into the wrong hands. But as the years have passed, Laura has become lonely at the top. The beginning of this next chapter presents Laura with the quintessential adult problem facing something too big to handle alone on this new adventure. Laura will encounter a challenge she can only overcome with a team at her side. Collaboration is foreign to her. She's always succeeded alone, so in this situation, she's a fish out of water. As for the actor, they are looking for a quote uh, for Colin Reed's quote, they are looking for a female in their mid 30s who's white, five foot six, athletic, and a prototype of Emily Blunt, Rosamund Pike, etc. Later on, Colin reads a no, no, no about the female actor, quote, romantic scenes with another female character, but that, quote, there is no nude or simulated sex, end quote. Boo. A good. <laughs> what, do you see me? what do you mean, no simulated sex? What the fuck am I paying for here? uh we got a good chunk of the game i mean that's basically the yeah. synopsis of the plot there um not quite synopsis but we got a good detailing of the beginnings of the games first off we're getting a what was it what what did they uh uh what the, what was the word they used it was a very strange word what is it blah, 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 blah. Uh, she's very like um uh into the life of tomb raiding right it, oh here we go her legendary career has been laded in print and tabloids so mm -hmm. she's known apparently she's gonna have a new generation of tomb raiders fair curious what that means are we gonna be like is that just for story purposes are we like influencing this team in some way are we controlling them is it just she has fans that try to like emulate her now or something i don't know what are some anything stick out from you in this I mean, the synopsis sounds awesome to me. Like, I love the idea of her, like, being famous now. She's gotten rid of all the her baggage or moved past all of her baggage from yeah. her family stuff. And uh, that she's at the top of her game. Like, that sounds like a cool 
starting point to to play as Laura. The thing that worries me is the the group <laughs> of <laughs> Tomb Raiders. Like, what does that look like gameplay wise? Is that is this like a Guardians of the Galaxy situation where we're Star Lord, aka Laura, and then the other Guardians are the Tomb Raiders? Yeah. I guess, and we get to switch out every once in a while. But or maybe they're there see... for like puzzles, maybe yeah. or something. I'm, I'm interested to see how that that plays out gameplay wise. But I, I love the Tomb Raider game, so I'm excited to see what uh what this is I, the synopsis sounds awesome that emily blunt like uh, yeah get her get her in here yeah like, i'm curious whatever looks like her, yeah. Yeah, yeah i'm <laughs> curious what um uh what this is going to mean for the actual like full-on story they make it clear that they 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 basically make it clear like we don't want to do the reboot trilogy we just did right they make it very clear gone are the days of family reckoning you know nothing about her dad or anything like that so really and there's actually more on this everyone go check out i i whenever i do things like this i never want to cover everything go check out there's several news stories you can actually go watch again what's even weird there was a dmca claim on patreon but the videos are still up so you can just go watch them on youtube i don't i don't know first off why square even did anything in the begin with because a you know they uh they actually argue that they you know they might have some legal standing here but mm -hmm. When you DMCA it, it makes it look real. So now we know right. it's real. So yeah. why, you know, you could have just ignored it and we would have, you know, maybe it's real. I would have started all this with take it with a grain of salt instead of this is real because they paid a lawyer hundreds of thousands of dollars for a couple hours to promise. Like someone had to watch this video and be like, yeah, we have legal claim. All right, well, go ahead and DMCA it or whatever. So yeah. Wow. Strange all around. I'm excited. I'm still excited. Give me more Tomb Raider. Yeah, I know. We we haven't we haven't got a lot of Tomb Raider. Oh, and did you see that the um the actress is out? Alicia Vikander? Yes. And what is I up with that? that? What is up with that? So sad. We have the movie <laughs> already and we already lost that. <laughs> what how are we gonna have a second one now? I have no idea. <laughs> Bloomberg has our next story written up by Ji Ping Huang.